first morning I was firing. Um, great to have Aaron and Garrett back and the boys from Gunworks. And uh, on previous trips we haven't found a bushbuck for Aaron to squeeze the trigger on yet. And I've come to a place we call Woolly Funs. It's a beautiful vista uh, on our home's daycare woodland. And I'm um, hoping to see something nice. I've been spotting quite a few rams. Bit windy today, not perfect. But we have spotted our first bushbuck male. We've seen a couple of kudu and a bunch of waterbuck. Maybe a little bit of time as the sun creeps into this valley, we may actually see some. But we found one bushbuck so far. It's a good sign. They're not they're not very fond of the wind, but we may have a chance here, so we'll keep looking. It's either 300 yards or it's a thousand on this trip. This one's 300. Am I right? You went in there without trees laying around there. Rolling, eh? Really? Yeah. Rolling. Good shot. Is that Aaron? He was like five safaris late. <laughs> it it was right? just about five safaris. <laughs> Man, that is that was just as challenging as he's as, as that pig. Patience, patience, patience. Seeing him yeah. was hard. Very hard. Very happy with this ram. I like his colour. You spotted it, which was really nice. And what really makes him for me is uh, I like his shape. Uh, very nice. He's got that classic. He does he's got a bell. Well. He goes straight up. Uh, and yeah, he's an old male. Good one to take. So it's it's your worst nightmare as far as getting bushbuck out. I will be honest with you. We have just opened a can of work. Yeah. This is bad. He dropped off a cliff here. We gotta go down about 200 yards, and then we gotta pack him all the way back up. He's gonna be a toad of a climb. Carl's feeling pretty wimpy this morning. It's because he didn't have any breakfast. That's the problem with skipping breakfast, is then you feel pretty weak. Yes. Chips? That is cool. That is a great bushbuck, my man. Congratulations, one hell of a shot and one awesome bushbuck. And if we look at this, apart from the great color on this bushbuck is absolutely what we want every time. 
If you look at his shape, he comes and he actually turns. If you look from the front. Mm -hmm. But he's a great ram in that 14, 14 and a half inch class. Uh, exactly what I thought when I first saw him. I think it makes for a great morning hunting these animals in these forests here against these uh, steep ridges. Pleasure, mate. Can you make him look more? Yeah, Free range eland. We're up here in the mountains. We're hunting some clips from her. Uh, Garrett's never shot one of those little ones. And uh, clouds are low. We were just cruising. We spotted some eland bulls out here in the flat. The trick is we don't want to push them up over the hills. We don't want to push them up into a spot for hard recovery. We think we can get to where they're at right now. We're trying to find a spot to set up without moving in and pushing them. We'll see if we can do it. but we position ourselves where the, the wind's not too big across. So if we're a little off on our wind call, it'll have a smaller effect. I don't want to shoot now while he's looking over his shoulder back like that, okay? Make sure his head clears, please, man. Okay, ready? Okay, just hold. Okay, we found the right animal, the one in the front string cut is the lower one. When you're ready, you can take it. Three minute wind. Rolling. I'm ready. Go. Oh my word. Oh my word. That anchored him right in the spot. Woo! I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> that is a hell of a shot, my man. I did, where did you aim that? Because you spined him, like you've, you've spined him, like am I right with the yeah, neck I drops? Went, you went, I went and forward, yep. forward show like, yep. you, like you guys sometimes do. I was holding two minutes. I'll tell you how excited I was. I forgot to put my airplanes in. Because I, I was so amped for shooting this thing. I mean, Ooh. guys. It, Big Elon bull. 1,200 yards, one shot. I tell you what, it's unbelievable shooting, my man. That is, I've, I've been with you, I've seen clips from him. I've seen good volume back shots, but I haven't seen you anchor it that You know, the first the first shot that we did yeah. was an Elon, right? I remember. 700 yards, you yeah. were a little nervous. Yeah, so I told you, please stake behind the shoulder. I wasn't sure about the ammo. Um, but I tell you what, <sighs> these Hornies are really performing out here. Oh yeah. I've hunted Elon together before and uh, when I saw this Elon this morning when he was looking at me at first I wasn't too certain but I'll tell you what when he turned I said to you we're gonna hunt this Elon and <laughs> he is a beast in every sense of the word I always say when you put your your hand in it, com it disappears completely I would say it's a solid two inch two and a half inch above my my fingers and that's what makes an Elon bull for me that's why I hunt these things for me Oh, thanks for an epic hunt this morning. It was fast, but it was awesome. You hear us talk a lot over here in Africa about how things change when we're out chasing animals. Uh, this morning, Carl has a couple blue wildebeest that he says need taken out of the herd. So, you know us, we're not picky when we get down here. So it's early, stiff breeze, about uh, 20 mile an hour or so. It's mostly in our face, so about 600, 700 yard shot. We're gonna pick out the one we like and give it a go.
I'm on the gun this afternoon, chasing blue wildebeest, one of the toughest animals, Carl says, that we'll chase on this safari. So looking to not wound something here. Good shot placement. Um, about five, 600 yards is what we're set up on right now. So we're gonna see how this shot goes. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Perfect. Don't shoot day, he's dead on his feet. He's looking on? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Take these anyways, huh? Oh, yeah, I'm telling you, man. Yeah, fantastic. Nice to have you guys back up in the plains here and enjoying the game and enjoying uh, just getting up there. But windy today, so we, we have to know our thing today, but you guys have done well. It's been good. Let's go get our hands on it. I think he is done. Yeah, all done, my man. Gnarly old bull, just fantastic. What I liked about him was when, when we look at a, a bull from the front, I need to see uh, when they put their ears out, when they do that with their ears, this is what I'm trying to see, what the dips look at. And then in between the horns here and the forehead, it must be completely black like this. Okay, so that, and then obviously I could see the bases, they were like knobbed up. I mean, they worn down old, old bull. So we did good, my man. We have a great blue wildebeest. Mission a great shot. Thank you. And uh, as to a fun day, very nice. These African animals are tough. Uh, they're all a little different. They all act a little different. Um, you know, Carl has us shoot them in different places. And, uh, awesome place to learn how to shoot long range, test your equipment. Um, you know, we put a lot of time in at the range beforehand, um, using a new bullet out here. So we are excited to get out here and, uh, and play with a couple of our new toys. So, so far, paying off. Have a lot of fun, getting some good kills, um, really enjoying ourselves here. It's first sunlight here this morning in the Karoo. We spotted a nice water buck. That water buck was on my list, and Carl really likes the shape. He's 100 yards ahead, you can tell when he really likes an animal. So. We're gonna go get a better look at him, see how it goes. No wind this morning. Very good water back this morning. Um, walking along this ridge line here, yeah, we got some good intel yesterday, late last night. About a good water buck, the guys have spotted some of the rest of our hunting party and come out this morning. I think we find them straight off the bat. I wanted to get out before the sun came out here. The minute the sun's out, they're going to sun themselves. It was a really cold night. Um, I think we found him. I just want to have a good look at him, make sure he's the bull you're after. But he looks fantastic from a distance at 1200. He looked up that bull. So I'm going to set up here and see if we can get G onto him. Sixteen seven. I just want to go right in, so I can try and get alleviate a little bit of the power line. That's your shot, probably. Okay. I'm rolling, G. Shoulder. Yeah. Wow, that was cool. What was that final distance? 910. 910. 
fine tea. Yeah. Well, get cleaned up here and go get our hands on it. Very, very happy with that, guys. That is a El Jefe Murmaki. Well done, my man. Thank you. Hey, doesn't get much better in South Africa. this afternoon. Very cool plan. We're chasing a very special zebra. It's a pretty cool animal. Um, small family units. They've, Carl's got a couple um, small family groups up here and there's two stallions that have been kicked out of the herds. There's an old one and a young one. And uh, we're just basically hunting these big mountain valleys and uh, see if we can find one of them. Hopefully we can get a shot that's reasonable. We've got a big wind so we'll have to deal with that. We'll see what we got. I think our wind is over, Aaron, but they've gone right down the canyon. They've gone up the other side, and they're going up that tall mountain. I think it's, it's about to get interesting here for the afternoon. I think we're going to be grateful for the long range today. I think we're going to need it. Well, they stopped. They're only a mile away, so we figure cut the distance in half. See if they'll stay there. See if the wind behaves. Maybe we'll get a shot. Otherwise, we're going to climb a very, very cool mountain. Hunting Cape Mountain Zebra. They do a little bit better than us in this mountain range here. We had about five and a half, six thousand feet here. Pumping a bit hard, yeah? So, we're going to have to keep at it. We've got to make this in 20 minutes from to the top. Otherwise, we're running out of time. Set up for you there in the rocks, wasn't it? Yeah. 
I um, made that by a split second. The <laughs> you, you were quick. Let's go down. Um, we have about 45 minutes of daylight left. We need to cape him here. We then need to pack him out. It's going to get interesting. It's going to get late. Better That's call it. in the reinforcements. Thanks again for the opportunity. Pleasure, man. Absolute pleasure, man. And great shooting once again, boys. A magnificent animal, my man. Just beautiful. Obviously, characteristically, very thin white stripes, very tight, predominantly black, and the stripes really tight. Um, not part of the main group, and a good one to take. He's got good battle scars here. Nice characteristics, and a good animal all around. Up in the high country, where they belong. <laughs>